A brilliant green comet may soon be visible to the naked eyes as it passes through the inner solar system. The comet, named C2022 E3, is making its first trip near Earth since the Stone Age. It was last seen 50,000 years ago, and won't be seen again, for thousands of years, once it's gone. The comet, made its closest approach to the Sun, on January 12, and will make its closest approach to Earth, on February 2. Astrophotographers around the world, have been watching the comet, as it crosses the northeastern sky. According to NASA, the best time to watch this comet, is at dawn. In March 2022, the comet was initially seen, when it passed through Jupiter's orbit. The comet was detected by a wide-field survey camera, at the Zwicky Transient Facility, and was initially speculated to be an asteroid. It's a long-period comet, that NASA believes, originated in the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is the furthest area, of the solar system. It is described as a gigantic bubble, formed from the frozen chunks of space debris, which are larger than mountains. According to estimates, the inner boundary of this zone is located between 186 billion to 465 billion miles from the Sun. This indicates that this comet has traveled on a unique, exceptional voyage to be near Earth. However, as it came close to the Sun and warmed up, it began losing the icy material, giving it a unique tail. Comets are mostly made up of ice and dark organic materials. They have been referred to as dirty snowballs and may yield important clues about the formation of our solar system. According to data gathered by telescopes, this comet has a period of around 50,000 years. It was last seen from Earth during the Upper Paleolithic period, a time when Neanderthals, Rome the planet, and early Homo sapiens had just come around. Most long period comets have been seen only once in recorded history because their orbital periods are so long. Countless such comets have never been seen by human eyes. Some have orbits so long that the last time they passed through the inner solar system our species didn't even exist. A recent comet of this sort, called C2013-A1, already visited the inner solar system and passed close to Mars in 2014. However, space agencies estimates that it won't return for another 740,000 years. This comet may provide a similar scenario. Researchers don't have an estimate for the furthest it will get from the Earth yet, but if it does return, it won't be for at least 50,000 years. Some predictions suggest that the orbit of this comet is so eccentric, it's no longer in an orbit. So, it's not going to return at all, and will just keep going in the darkness of space. This newly found comet will now reach its closest approach to the Earth on February 2nd. It has been seen to have a vivid greenish coma and short wide dust tail. In December, Californian astronomer Dan Bartlett was able to picture the comet from his garden. He said that he could make out intricate tail structure in the comet's plasma tail and that conditions are becoming better. According to NASA, the comet will be seen with binoculars if its brightness trend continues. Away from city lights, it could also be seen with the naked eyes. The comet will be visible in the morning hours of January in the northern hemisphere and in the early morning hours of February in the southern hemisphere. This comet is not expected to be as impressive as Comet Neowise was back in 2020. But it's still an awesome opportunity to make a personal connection with this icy visitor from the distant part of our solar system.